Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are continuing on with our ship right here, as you guys can see. I have the, uh, the urge to actually call this thing the supply ship, and the reason being is because we actually ended up doing so many videos on the supply ship. If you guys haven't seen it, then, uh, yeah, where have you been? Anyway, uh, today what I figured we'd do is we'd actually try and get this thing pretty much done. Uh, and ready for the workshop. So essentially, we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna go ahead and get this room ready down here. Uh, and then I think that's all we're gonna end with. We're gonna finish it probably there. So we're gonna try our best to, to make this room look kinda nice. And uh, yeah, we'll end the video there, end the series there, and uh, yeah, we'll be done. Because I don't want this to be one of those series where it takes me forever to do all these things and uh, we never get it finished. I want it to be done, so yeah. So that we can actually move on to something else. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, finish this up. And hopefully, it'll look good in the end. And hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Okie dokie. So how do we actually finish this thing up then? I assume that we should actually just go down here and start finishing up the walls down here. And essentially just finish it up that way. Because realistically, that's all we should uh, and all we do, I actually need to do. So go ahead and jug all these walls up. There we go. We'll actually paint this window. Sorry, this door. <laughs> it's a door. There we go, just like that. We'll paint that like that as well. And we'll actually have these painted just like this. Now, realistically, uh, what we should be adding down here is uh, like an equipment room and stuff like that. We should also probably add uh, some sort of kitchen and place to eat. However, I think that they should eat in their bedroom uh, and they should eat packed meals. So we're not actually going to create a kitchen. I, I think kitchens, um, I'm not very good at adding them in this game. And I just don't feel like doing it. So there you go. But anyway, let's add a wall uh, right here at the end. There we go. And we'll actually add that straight across just like this. Uh, this bit at the front will then be the armory. And that'll be perfect. Here we go. Door. Let's add a door just on one side actually because I feel like we should uh, just add it over on one side. So there we go. Actually, maybe we could have it in the middle. Ah, uh, no. One side. Here we go. We're going to have it off to one side. I never do this uh, because it's odd, obviously. But um, there you go. You go inside this room. And now we actually need to add the uh, armory and all of the equipment and stuff. So let's go down to the equipment, which is down here. There we go. We'll add a fire extinguisher on both sides of the room. Although the door opens there, so we shouldn't do that. But to there. There we go. That's pretty good. And well, will put them in the same place. There we go. Nice. Uh, we'll then actually add a hose to right there, add a hose to right there, and we'll add some uh, cables to right there, and also to right there. Very good. We're then going to need somewhere for rope, uh, and honestly, there's going to be a lot of rope involved in this. Uh, so we're going to put this here, this here, and that is it. Very good. We're then going to paint this bit just like so, and it fits in. That's perfect, actually. Right, now we actually need some clothing, okay, because we haven't done any clothing, uh, and it's kind of important. So... Firefighting equipment first. There we go, right next to the fire extinguisher. We're then going to have some scuba gear right there next to the uh, this thing in my bobby, this hose. And then we're going to have some arctic gear in the top that we'll have two of. There we go. Now you might be wondering why, and I think it's probably the most important one, to be totally honest with you guys. Probably the most important one. All right, cool. Then we'll have another firefighting equipment right there. And actually, now that we've done that, we'll actually turn these around and we'll have them like this. There we go. Now, unfortunately, on this side, these ones can't be here because the door opens there. So we're going to have to leave it like that on that side, but that's okay. And then the diving equipment can go in right there on the bottom. All right, very good. And actually, now that I think about it, these two can actually be diving equipment too. There we go. Diving equipment, diving equipment. That's awesome. All right, cool. Uh, so now we've actually got this entire wall right here that we can use uh, for more equipment. And I feel like we should. So let's delete it right there in the middle. And we'll start adding it. Now, I'm not so sure what's the most important thing to add. Uh, I really don't know. But essentially, we need to make sure we have pretty much one of everything. So, assault rifles, we do want a bunch of those. So we'll have two of those right there. And actually, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, because reasons. There we go. Two assault rifles uh, right there as well. We'll then fill up the sides with ammunition for said assault rifle. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. And then we'll have some, what, SMGs maybe? Yep, some machine guns. One right there, one right there. And fill that up with SMG ammo. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okie dokie, that's looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Alright, spear gun is actually gonna line up along the top. There we go, just like this. And the spear gun ammo is gonna go all the way around it. There we go, one there, one there, one there. That's pretty awesome. Then finally, up there, we're actually gonna have a normal gun. Alright, a flare gun, that's good. And we'll have flare gun ammo right next to it. There we go. This wall is looking pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot on there, uh, but that's fine. Alright, one of these detectors. I never use them, but I guess if someone uses my ship, they might. There we go. Pretty good. Uh, binos. Alright, we do already have a set of these upstairs, but that's okay. Uh, remote control unit. We're not gonna do that. Radio. We'll put that in the right way up. There we go. Just like so. Uh, anything else that we really, really need? Hand grenades. Yeah, those are important. There we go. Make sure they're in the right way up. There we go. And we'll have a bunch of them. Very good. Alright, now for C4. <laughs> now for C4. Alright, we'll have a bunch of C4 up there. We'll actually have a lot of it. There we go. And we'll have one detonator. Actually, we'll have two. Just in case. Alright, there we go. Actually, maybe three. There we go. That's fine. And then finally, we need something for the middle. Now, what would I need? I'm not sure what I would need. First aid kits are pretty important. And we don't have any of them currently in here. So we'll have some first aid kits. Alright, that wall is full of equipment, and that's good. Alright, some lights are going to have to go in. Let me go ahead and make some lights. Ba 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 boom. Light, we'll make it this colour, and we'll whack it in the roof. And that's okay, good. Now just paint the bottom, just like so, and that's fine. Alright, equipment room, done. It is weird, not going to lie, but it works. Okie dokie, so with that being said, we can actually move backwards, and we can start adding other rooms. Now I'm thinking we get one of these doors... Uh, we only do it on one side, but we put it right here, okay? So you might be thinking, why would you put a door there? Well, the reason being is because I want to put a door there. <laughs> for one, there you go, that's the reason for that. And for two, uh, it uses the space a little bit better, so that's pretty good. Alright, there we go, we're going to do something like this, and then we'll seal this room up just like so, and that is fine. Alright, now you might be wondering what this is going to be. This is going to be a med bay. So, we need a med bed. There we go, and it's going to go right in there on the side. If we can do it properly, that'd be great. There we go, it's going to go slightly in the sky, and that's going to be it. Alright, cool. Med bed is in. It's going to stay blue. Actually, yeah, it is. It's going to stay blue. Uh, we're going to have different bedding on it, and I guess it's going to be a different blue. There we go, that's fine. That's fine right there. There we go, pretty good. Okay, that's awesome. So the flooring itself, I think, should be cream, or at least like this color. There we go. Uh, and that'll do for the whole downstairs. Good. Alright, not sure what else to put in here, not gonna lie. Maybe a monitor. I don't want it to be too detailed, because it really doesn't need to be. But we'll put a monitor in, we'll make it the same colour as everything else, and we'll have it be 3x3. Three three. Alright, whack that in right there, get ourselves a button, and smack that on there. Boop! There we go. Attach it straight up. There we go, awesome. And give it electricity. Oh god, look at it. the amount of stuff in there that needs electricity. Look at all of that. That is a wall of stuff. That's crazy. But essentially, this is going to connect straight up to the uh, video of... I don't know, the gun? Yeah, there we go, the gun. <laughs> so whoever's in the med bed can actually see what's going on with the gun. That's weird, but we'll go with it. Alright, and then I guess in here we should also add something like a bench or something. So let's go ahead and get the right colour, which is going to be this. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Get ourselves a seat, uh, which is going to be one of these. Whack that on there like that, like that, like that. And we'll actually put some uh, fluid. Fluid tanks? Yeah, these guys. Uh, these are all going to be our back seats. Backs backs of our seats. There we go. One there, one there, one there. We'll do another one. And we'll actually add the manifold thingamabobby. These guys onto the top of there. And we have ourselves a bench inside of the med bay. Very cool. All right, now we just need a light. Probably a single light. We'll do it on both sides in the same place. Does that make sense? And then we'll add a light. Yes! Okay, so the light is going to start being this colour. It's okay. We'll put it in probably the right way around. That'd be great. There we go. And we'll paint the roof uh, the same colour as it should be. Okay, perfect. That's really good. Uh, so now, I'm not sure what else to do with the bottom floor. We've got the equipment in here already. we got the engines in the engine bay. And we got nothing going on down here. Which, to be honest, we could leave it like that. And that would be fine. And I do actually believe that would be fine, to be honest. So we'll add, um, we'll add one of these here, just in case you need it. We'll have it be the right colour, but yeah, it's going to go back in. 
There we go. We're going to add a defibrillator in here too, because currently we don't have one. So a defibrillator would be awesome. Maybe get rid of a row of hand grenades. <laughs> there we go. A defibrillator should go straight in here like this. So we've got all of our things to kill people, and then we've got our things to save people right in the center. Okay, very good. There we go. They're all going to be red. That's awesome. Yeah, that works. Uh, right, so other things that could go back here. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it should be full of just random stuff. To be totally honest with you guys, like random stuff would work in there. But I, I genuinely don't know what to add. So I think I just won't add anything. Or we just add like a bunch of random things like like these. Like as if these are barrels. There we go. We could just add barrels. Which is strange, but sure. And then we can add like a talk thing to said barrels. Why not? Uh, and then we can add like a gearbox to said barrels too. Look at that. Crazy. I don't know what that is, but sure. Still don't know what to do with this area. Don't know what to do with this area at all. Uh, and that's fine. Alright, cool. You know what? We've got a ship that works. I'm happy with it. And we'll keep it sort of as is. At least for now. So, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm, I'm real good. Alright, let's go ahead and do this sideways real quick. We'll delete all of this to there. Yeah. And then we'll do this. Alright, we'll do this on both sides though. Because reasons. Because reasons. Alright, put that there. Delete all of this to there. Put this on. And grab one of these. Put this on all the way to there. That's awesome. Alright, cool. I'm happy with the ship. We're going to leave it as is, probably. And that will be it. Good. Okie dokie. So, because I've done all that, let's go ahead and save it real quick. There we go. And I think we're ready to go. This right here, I need to label real quick. Uh, gyro. Copter. Launch. There we go. Alright, cool. So, that's the launch mechanism right there. That's the extra fuel tank. We got our main gun, we got our boomsticks, we got our torpedoes, we got our depth charges, we got our anti-aircraft guns, we got three of them, uh, we got our machine guns. Wait, this thing is armed to the teeth, and uh, I'm I'm alright with it. I think we're going to keep this, uh, and we're just going to send it to the workshop now, and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. Uh, as well as that, though, I think the next thing we build is going to be some sort of bomber. So, it's going to be a plane next, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this and spawn it in. There we go. This is what it's going to end up looking like in the finale. There we go. And yeah, I think we've done an alright job. I think it works. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Just to uh, add to this as well, just before we do actually finish. I always feel like I get to the point with these things where I end up adding too much. And it just makes me, uh, I don't know, feel bad when I actually upload this to the workshop. Because I've added so much, but it doesn't like... I don't know, I guess it's just not perfect. You know, there's there's a lot of stuff that just ain't right. Like this, this ain't right. This helicopter shouldn't really be like this, uh, but it is just the way we've added it. It probably shouldn't have been added. Uh, this, I guess the deck actually looks okay. Um, but yeah, there's just, I don't know, certain things that make me feel bad about uploading this. Uh, but I don't know, it is what it is. Uh, and I hope you guys did enjoy the build. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.